In this video, we're going to see which would win a fight between bread and pasta. Which one will win in the battle of the carbs? In the blue corner, we have bread, one of the oldest staples in the Western diet. In the red corner, we have pasta, the cupboard staple that most households always have on hand. But which one is better? Which one will deliver the knockout blow? Stay tuned to find out. Round one, calories. Which has fewer calories? Let's compare. 150 grams, about a serving of cooked white pasta will give you 212 calories, whereas two slices, about a serving of white bread will give you 156 calories. But what about the whole grain varieties? Well, 150 grams of cooked whole grain pasta will give you 200 calories and two slices of whole grain bread will give you 136 calories. So a serving of bread will give you fewer calories than a serving of pasta. Both the whole grain varieties of bread and pasta have fewer calories than the white refined varieties. So if you're watching your calories, then this round goes to bread. Before we battle the next rounds, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join my community. Let's get to the truth about nutrition together. Now let's get back to the fight. Round two, carbohydrates. Both bread and pasta are starchy foods, which are main sources of carbohydrates. So which one has more? Well, 150 grams of cooked white pasta will give you 47 grams of carbohydrates and two slices of white bread will give you 30 grams of carbohydrates. When we compare the whole grain varieties, we can see that 150 grams of cooked whole grain pasta will give you 40 grams of carbohydrates, whereas two slices of whole grain bread will give you 28 grams of carbohydrates. In terms of carbohydrates, it looks like pasta has more than bread, but pasta has a low glycemic index, GI. What does that mean? Well, the glycemic index is a system that ranks foods based on how much a certain portion increases blood sugar when compared to pure glucose. Pasta has a low glycemic index because it is broken down over a longer period of time, which means it is going to help you feel fuller for longer, more than bread will. In fact, Cooking pasta al dente is better than mushy overcooked pasta. Why? Well, because al dente pasta carries a lower GI than mushy overcooked pasta. Eating low GI food may help to maintain weight. This is because low GI food takes a long time to break down and digest and gives a steady blood sugar release. And many low GI foods are a good source of fiber, which may help you keep fuller for longer. Oops, I might have just given away who wins the next round on fiber, but keep watching to find out if you've guessed right. When it comes to pasta, it tends to be the portion sizes we're consuming in it. That is the challenge. People tend to overeat pasta. If you're going to have pasta, do it like the Italians. Eat a small to normal size portion that's one cup or about the size of your fist and bulk it up with veggies and a little protein. You can still eat pasta just in a smarter way, and that's a good part, right? Despite its bad rap, carbohydrates are important to a balanced diet and a primary source of where we get our energy. Carbs, along with other macronutrients such as protein and fat, keep our bodies functioning optimally. They can also help regulate mood, contribute to a healthy heart and a better brain function. While pasta is high in calories and carbs, they'll keep us nice and full for longer so it can help stop you from grabbing that cookie for a snack. I think pasta wins this round. Round three, fiber. Now let's compare the fiber. 150 grams of cooked white pasta will give you three grams of fiber, whereas two slices of white bread will give you two grams of fiber. 150 grams of cooked whole grain pasta will give you six grams of fiber, whereas two slices of whole grain bread will give you three grams of fiber. So it looks like pasta has more fiber than bread and the whole grain varieties for both pasta and bread have more fiber than the refined versions. Why do the whole grain varieties contain slightly more fiber? Well, that's because it contains the bran and the endosperm. The difference between whole grain pasta and white pasta or refined pasta is simply that the flour used to make whole grain pasta contains the entire grain. So that's the bran, germ and endosperm while the flour used to make white pasta only contains the endosperm. So, if you're looking to get more fiber in your diet, having a serving of pasta will provide you with more than bread. 
and opting for the whole grain variety will definitely fill you up with more fiber. So this round goes to pasta. Round four, weight loss. Which is better for weight loss, pasta or bread? Well, in short, neither is better than the other. Let me explain. No one individual food will be the reason for weight loss or the reason for weight gain. A person's weight is influenced by a variety of different factors, including food quality, total caloric intake, and activity level, just to name a few. Ultimately, it's an excess of calories that make us pile on the pounds, and it really doesn't matter where those extra calories come from. Diet that cut carbs work their magic just like any other diet, and that's by reducing calories. If a diet restricts certain foods such as bread and pasta, it only restricts calories and it's this that causes weight loss. Therefore, assuming that you're consuming a diet of whole foods and eating a caloric deficit, including pasta or bread will not slow down weight loss or force weight gain. Like any food, how much you eat is important, so paying attention to the portion size of pasta and bread is vital if weight loss happens to be your goal. And choosing whole grain varieties for the pasta and bread may help. How? Well, they contain more fiber than the refined versions. Fiber helps you feel fuller for longer and so it can help stop the snack cravings and stop consuming excess calories. One study showed that simply adding more fiber to your diet may help some people who have difficulty following other diets lose weight. Some people think starchy foods are fattening and avoid eating bread and pasta, but gram for gram they contain fewer than half the calories or fat. Completely cutting out any type of food from your diet could mean you miss out on a range of nutrients that you need to stay healthy. Just watch out for the added fat to use when you cook and serve them, because this will increase the calorie content. So I think this round is a draw. And the winner is, well, there's no clear winner. When it comes to bread versus pasta, there's no good carbs versus bad carbs. Both pasta and bread can be enjoyed as part of a healthy balanced diet. Neither is better than the other, but including more whole grain varieties of pasta and bread may be healthier choices. Why? Well, they provide more minerals and fiber, which can help prevent blood sugar spikes and make for a more filling addition to your diet. Also, eating whole grains regularly may protect against chronic diseases. These diseases include heart disease and stroke and certain forms of cancer and type 2 diabetes. So, swap your white pasta and bread for whole grain varieties every now and again. You can have your bread or pasta without guilt. Stick to one sort of carbohydrate with your meal, so don't have garlic bread with your pasta. Always make sure that you get a side of salad and some protein as well. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to watch more videos just like this. Also, if you want to watch more food fights, check out our food fight playlist. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next one.